to our wonderful members. Um, Lori here, director of the Wellness Center and Spa. I have brought my team back together for you. Everyone say hi. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to our second episode of Wake Up With Wellness. Um, we are back to talk about some really fun things that we have going on and some good things for you to know while you are safer at home. Um, and then we have a... Uh, guest arriving that I didn't tell anybody else about. I'm really excited about it. This person's going to be here in two minutes to say hello to our members. Guys, I'll pass it around to you. How's everybody doing? Is the, how's everybody holding up? Good. Great. Very well. Good. Good, good, good. Very good. Excellent. Gabby, we saw your video on the coffee drink. I'm excited to talk about that today. And I got... Um, I am so excited. Yeah, I'm excited to try it. Although these days, have I'm you tried it yet? Did you try making it? No, no, not yet. I got decaf because you know I'm trying to kick the coffee habit. That's my my safer at home uh, goal. But I'm so excited to try it. You made it look so good. I was like, Ugh. it was a lot of fun. <laughs> and it'll give you good arm muscles. I like that. And Mark, I love those videos that you guys are doing and fitness. You're <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Special guest coming on the show today to say hello to our members. And our special guest is none other than. See how long it takes to connect. Ta-da! Janet has joined us today. Yay! Yay! Look who it is. Did you guys hear me? Yeah! <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you guys? We're great. Boy, are oh. you okay for sore eyes? We miss you. Oh God, I miss you guys so much. It's incredible. Oh, look what I did. Uh. <laughs> That's right. The skills come in handy when you got nothing else to do, sisters and brothers. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for joining us on the show. How have you been holding up during our Safer at Home? So it's not bad. It's not bad. I've decided that um, you don't look in a mirror ever. <laughs> and a couple of things that I've learned is God cook seems to go with everything. Yes. Yes. To some, I can definitely see that. <laughs> Have you made any uh, isolation um, resolutions? I quit coffee. You did? Yeah. Wow, are you serious? That's really good. Yeah, I only have this slight tick from not drinking. <laughs> well, you know, I ride my bike every day. That's what I do. I ride my bike, so I actually ride around the whole area, and I uh, get to see some of the members, and they really miss everybody. Aw, well, we miss them, too. They really do. They say they can't wait for it to open back up, and they really miss everybody, and they're kind of like keeping their positions like six feet apart. Summer 10, which is good. Good, good, good. Well, we're recording. Janet, have you tried cutting your bangs yourself? No. <laughs> you have not? No. I, I, I can barely see. Try. But I did cut my dad's hair yesterday. Oh, how did, how did that go? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the final time I'll be doing hair. Okay. <laughs> yep. That skill I have not learned, and nor will I ever learn. Oh, maybe Karen can teach you some tips. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Hopefully. How are you guys doing? We're good. Just fine. Are, uh -huh. Doing good. Yeah, Jane, what, are you ready? I'm ready. I got two weeks. <gasps> wow, how do you feel? I feel big and pregnant. Yeah, everybody, I'm having a baby girl in two weeks. So yeah. this, is, this is my last, kind of my last hurrah. Yeah, and she can join us on Zoom. Yes, and she'll be part of the, the coffee talk. All right, well, Janet, this is going to our members, so do you want to say anything to them before you? Sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I miss them all. They are the wonderful people. It's uh, when we all come back, we can all give each other a big hug. It's yeah. been a social distance thing, but yeah, I do. I miss everybody there. I hope everybody's doing well and staying well. Sorry about the noise. That's okay. We actually can't hear it. I can't hear it. No. Oh, you can't hear it? No. Probably because oh. your earphones. I don't know. Probably. We hear you really yeah. good, though. Oh, I miss you guys. 
Oh, we missed you too. Laura, did you go blonde? <laughs> yes, or I have did. I gone blind? I don't know. <laughs> All of you out there who have not been tuned into my <laughs> drama, I decided about a week before this whole thing happened to go from black to blonde. And um, then we self isolated. So it's been wonderful. And my hair is about 72 different shades of <laughs> at this point. I think everybody has their gray roots right now. We yeah, all are discussing yeah. just, how bad we get our hair done. I haven't had to a month. And oh, I and Derek, Thank yours you looks fabulous. Yeah, my hair is just as black as it was the day. Derek, was Derek is the worst. <laughs> Getting no. shaggy, Derek. We love you so much. Thank you for joining us. We miss you. you. Oh my God, I miss you guys so, so much. Virtual hug, big hugs. Big hugs. Love you guys. You love you. Bye. 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 Okay, bye. That was oh, so funny. That was the best surprise oh, ever. Oh God, I got to get out of here. Help me. I'm waking out. <laughs> Janet's back. So, it was really nice of her to come by. Uh, <laughs> Uh, there are some other things that uh, we wanted to, to do today. We want to just have a special guest for you, but with things changing and with times changing, with all of us adjusting, uh, we're probably falling into some uh, not so great habits. And a lot of us are uh, sitting on the couch a little more than usual and laying down a little more than usual. So uh, I'd like to open it up for any ideas on some things that the members should be doing at home or could be doing at home from our uh, our special, specially trained people member here. What would you guys recommend the members do? I think what just happens, what they should do, relax, have fun, enjoy the moment. The little things are gonna take over. We're gonna be fine. The vineyards is a castle. It's not going anywhere. It's being well kept. We got it. <laughs> right. Are there anything that you guys have done that are a little bit out of your norm since this whole thing? Is there any like, just things that you never thought you would do or that you have more time to do? I quit coffee. <laughs> yeah. Professionally or personally? Both. I walk my dog three times a day versus once. That's good. Yeah. I've been playing golf every week, but it's not helping. Yeah. <laughs> hey, at least you got something to do out on the weekends, you know? It's hot out there, but it is out there. That's the good part. It is hot. It is hot. It has reached new levels of sticky hotness that... I never thought would be possible in April. Right. And by the way, it's past mid-April. That's crazy. It's absolutely I crazy. know. So, um, <laughs> all right. Well, when it comes to stuff you're doing at home, I actually did a little research um, on the top 100 things that USA Today says to do while you're in self-isolation. So I thought I would share. Um, here's some ideas if you haven't already thought of these. I'm going to just put it in 10 at a time because 100 is a little overwhelming. Uh, the first one is a puzzle. I've done my first puzzle. I don't think I have completed a puzzle in about 15 years. So I did do a puzzle. Do you guys have puzzles at home? I've done like 10 puzzles. Not yet. Well, Matter of fact, I went to buy more and they didn't have any in stock at any of the stores. I know. Really? Yeah. Yep. They don't have them. I went yep. too because I it was like I got puzzle fever now and I'm ready to get some puzzles on and now I can't find any. <laughs> I'll bring you a couple. Yeah, you want to do like a puzzle exchange? Ooh, that's a good yeah. idea. Yeah. yeah. So um, the other thing I did because I got desperate is I downloaded an app, a puzzle app. So you could do puzzles from your iPad. It's a good idea. Yeah, and then I downloaded Rummy Cube because I haven't played that in about two decades either. It's so fun. It is, I can't, it's so fun. Has anybody, has anybody else played Rummy Cube before? No. no. What? Is it like an old Italian lady thing? We used to play Rummy Cube every Sunday um, at my grandma's house after dinner. Okay, so puzzles, board games, that's, that's, that's number one, USA Today, that's what they say. Um, the other one, uh, so number two, start a journal and, and or write your biography. So if you feel inclined to um, channel your inner writer, you can start a journal or write your biography. 
Uh, number three, organize all those old photos and memories. This was something that was pretty cool because everybody has like this cardboard box or trunk O pictures somewhere buried in a closet that has everybody in it from all kinds of years ago. And so they're saying it's a good time to start organizing those and going. I did that. I spent some time. Yeah, I've got I got bins from Target. They're plastic bins and they're the perfect size for photos. And I started organizing all my family photos. That is awesome. That a good yeah. feeling. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of those things that you just never have time for. So now is the time to do it. Uh, Those number are photos. Four. Mine are all digital. Are you guys they? actually literally have photos? You don't have photos from like 1982? No. No, my parents may have those photos, but I don't have them. Thank goodness. Oh, oh my God. goodness. Well, at one point I thought I was going to, I thought I was going to take pictures of all of them and keep them on my iCloud. And it was just such a big project. I gave it up after about 20 minutes. But they say it's time to time to dust off those old photos and start organizing. So um, might be a good idea. Okay, number four, dust off an old instrument and see what you've got. I like that. Yeah, I like that one. Um, I tried to play the recorder. <laughs> with my, and I ain't got nothing. I got nothing. Um, but I used to play the flute and the piccolo. I don't still have my instruments. Do either any of you guys have instruments from back in the day? I threw them away. Did you? Yeah. What did you used to play? I did the, the kazoo. The, 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 no. The kazoo. Um, what is that thing called? The flute. I, is that the one that they everybody yeah. loaned out? Yeah. I've always wanted to learn how to play the piano, though. That's kind of on my bucket list. Yeah. Yeah. I I'm almost the loudest, huh? That's nice. right. Yeah, I used to play the flute and the piccolo, and the piccolo was like so little. The baby. It's a baby. Mark, did you play anything? Uh, drums in high school, marching band. Oh, I could see cool. that. Yeah, I could totally see that. Derek, did you play anything? I played a little piano. That's about it. There you go. I what still got Yankee Doodle Dandy in my repertoire. I was thinking so anytime that. there's a piano, I'll just I'll show you guys how to tickle those ivories like nobody else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that. <laughs> what about you, Jane? Did you play anything? I think the recorder in school and then like the kazoo, maybe? Uh, nothing. No. I play the kazoo. Did you really? Everybody played the kazoo when they were little. Were you a recreational kazooist or a professional kazooist? A professional. Oh, no doubt. <laughs> I've heard about traveling professional kazoo players. Yeah. They're in high quantity. Oh, right my gosh. Go to the mailbox. You know, they're doing that um, that bin challenge. I don't know if anybody out there has been watching that. It's a big thing on Facebook and social media right now where people are journeying out to take their garbage bin to the end of the road for garbage day, and then they're dressing up really funny so their, their neighbors could have a laugh, and they're videoing it. Well, oh my gosh. Day, yeah, the other day there was somebody who was taking it out on a farm and it was the longest video and he's like tracking across the farm and then he's hooked up to a trailer and riding the bean and then he's going underwater with it and I thought, oh my God, that's what we have to do. <laughs> I like that. It's really cute. It's really cute. I can play the harmonica a little bit. Oh, see, that's a fun one. I always want to. You're going to you're gonna have to bring that in now, Mark. Yeah. Never. Oh, we need to have a class on that. Never. Yeah. We should do a YouTube video on Doesn't burn calories. It's not metabolically conducive to my profession. Oh, it helps with your um, your muscle in your in your cheeks and your mouth, and that's good spa etiquette right there. Tightening those facial muscles. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Or we could do a kazoo uh, YouTube video, Jane. Get it ready. Dust it off. There you go. Um, okay, then the other one, number five, it says to watch all the long movies you haven't had time for. It's a good time to start yes. watching. Titanic and the Lord of the Rings trilogy and the there? Godfather. The Godfather, yeah, those are good ones. That's an oldie. Turner classic movies. Forget special effects. Watch real acting. Real acting, real movies. Uh, number six, it says to download Duolingo and teach yourself a language. Oui, je parle français. Comment allez-vous? Exactly what he said. <laughs> number seven, it says to meditate. Uh, I've been trying to do that unsuccessfully. Um, and then number nine, it says to write letters to family and friends. 
um, handwritten letters. I thought that was kind of neat because we've kind of lost, email. you know, of actually constructing a handwritten letter. And lots of email. Lots of email. Number 10. This is a good one. Organize your Tupperware cabinet. That's a good one. I like that. Yeah. Yep. Now is the time to go in and figure out how many Tupperwares you have versus how many lids that fit on those Tupperwares because I know everybody out there got a bunch of Tupperware with lids that don't match. Wrap it up. Get rid of them. Yep. <laughs> I'm perfect. Good five feeling. Five. You do. You have five and five and that's it, huh? That's it. All right. Well, uh, some of the other cool things you can do at home, I want to uh, ask Gabby about because Gabby's out there making all kinds of cool stuff and it's got her own special and we're going to start doing some cool recipes. So what do you got cooking there, Gabby? So I did my first video the other day. I did the ever trending. Uh, so I called it TikTok coffee because that's kind of what I knew about it. And Laura's the one that told me um, the other name. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I'm not even going to try. But um, it was so, how do you say it? I think it's Delgona. I have to look at it again. Okay. So I tried making that the other day. It's actually really good. <laughs> It's really good. Um, I, I enjoyed it a lot. So I hope a lot of the members kind of, they watched it and I hope that they do it at home. Um, I'm going, so moving forward, I really want to start. So a recipe a week, but easy, like things that are fun and easy um, that everybody can kind of do at home. I love, I, my whole thing that I really like to do is I, I, I like to eat healthy. And so I kind of like to try to make things that are healthy that are usually unhealthy. So like brownies. Um, I've done like a black bean brownie with avocado, um, healthy fats. So I'm trying to get a list of all things that I think members might like. And each week I'm going to bring a new recipe to you um, from my very own home. So I'm really excited about it. And I've actually been, I've taken this time to really learn new recipes myself. So it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. And for those of you who don't know, Gabby is, um, has already taken over the cafe. So earlier in the year, um, the wellness center shifted over to, to taking the cafe on. Um, it's just a little easier since we're right there um, to have it instead of having food and beverage, you know, take, lug everything over and put everything together. So we just do it right in house now. And Gabby's been managing the cafe um, since the start of the year. So what are some of the things that you changed in the cafe when you took it over, Gabby? Yeah, it's been a lot of fun, actually. I've learned a lot from it. Um, I've tried simplifying it, though. I feel like there was just, there was too much going on, and I wanted to make it very simple for the members. So we do, for breakfast now, we do made homemade, uh, made to make, made to order eggs and so they could pick however they want to make they want to have their egg and they whip it up for them we could do it as is we can do it in a wrap we could do it on a bagel um we have bagels croissants um what those bagels are so good mm. aren't they good? Mm -hmm. good the cinnamon raisin i think is my favorite yeah but although i like a good sesame too but it has to be toasted yeah. um but yeah so eggs bagels, uh, muffins. So just simple, very simple, very kind of quick, easy to order on the go. Um, we still have all of our smoothies, which we've, the only thing that we did change is we condensed the menu to our most popular six. Um, so that's been a really good thing. And then for our lunch menu, again, we tried simplifying it and it's a made, uh, made, made to order sandwiches. So a sandwich or a wrap. And we have um, turkey, roast beef. We can do, we could even do grilled cheeses. We can do uh, chicken salad and tuna salad. So just a little, a little bit of everything for everybody without it being overcomplicated. Yeah, and the feedback I've heard throughout the year has been really great. You know, it's, it's tough to do all healthy options um, and, you know, without sacrificing some of the yumminess. So I think you found a really good balance of offering uh, food that people want to eat um, that is, you know, a little on the nutrition side and, and, you know, anybody who's running to play golf or driving by, you know, the fact that they could run in and they could grab a quick sandwich or grab a nice, um, egg sandwich in the morning is really great. And I've really appreciated it and I can't have cheese. And so I've just had the bagel with the egg, butter it with some Canadian bacon and it's been absolutely delicious. It's a nice breakfast that holds y'all day. And so kudos to you. You've been doing an awesome job. Thank you. It's been a lot of fun. And honestly, I think the, my 
the thing that I love most about it is walking in and just smelling the bacon. I don't like bacon personally, but there's just something about the smell that I just, it almost makes me feel like I'm in a diner or, you know, it's just very homey. It has kind of like that homey feel. Yeah. Um, so it's really nice. Yeah. Well, I'm excited to see some of the recipes that you're going to bring to us because I'm ready to go. I'm ready to cook. I've cooked more in the last month than I have in the whole year. So um, have you really? Oh yeah. I'm like, I'm a little gossy in there. Bam. I'm all kinds of cooking stuff. I don't know. Last night I made a zucchini sauce with ground beef in it. And I, I'm, I cut gluten out. So I had it over rice. It was the weirdest meal I've ever eaten, but somehow it tasted good. <laughs> That's all that matters. That's great. Yeah, so I'm excited to see your new recipes that you, that you make because they're always yummy. I'm excited. Yeah. And, and if, honestly, guys, if for all to all you members, if there's anything that you want to see in the cafe, if there's something that we don't have, if there's a recommendation, I am all pleased because this is for you guys. I'm doing, you know, this is, we bring you this stuff for you. And so um, just come to us and just let us know anything that you want to see, anything that, and we, I'm, we could try and make it happen. So just reach out to us and let us know. Yeah, I think that's the important part. You know, we, it's just like you said, Gabby, we're, we're doing this for you guys at home and for you guys that come in and we want you to be happy with the selections. And so we're definitely open for ideas at any point in time. Um, so bring them to us. Gabby's around and out working out front all the time. I'm in my, my little closet office and you're welcome to come in anytime and just let us know what you want to see in the cafe. We'll do our best to accommodate you. Um, I wanted to talk about really quick and maybe you guys also have some ideas. So for the members that um, are having a hard time getting a hold of food or maybe don't want to necessarily um, leave to go into the store. I know I'm a little nervous going into the stores. I basically carry a bottle of Lysol with me and use it like hairspray after I leave. Um, but um, it, there's so many ways now to get a hold of groceries that you don't have to go into the grocery store. So I wanted to talk about that for a minute because I feel like it's really important. I feel like a lot of our members might not know how to do that. So there is a website and an app called Shipt. It's a S H I P T. And with Shipt, you can go right on your computer. You can sign up for an account if you want. You could do it in six months or a year increments. Um, very low cost, and then as long as you order over $37, um, your shipping is free. But you can go in there, you can order all kinds of things from your local Publix, and then it sets up a time to deliver it with you, and then you can receive your shipping at that time. So that's been an awesome tool. Um, you know, my mom is working home, and she's just about the right age and is a little nervous going to the store, so I've just been ordering stuff for her on shipped and it arrives at her front door. She unpacks it all, she washes her hands and then she didn't have to step foot in the store. So there's also Instacart, which is another option and it's just like that. There's a website, there's an app that you can choose. And then a lot of stores are doing curbside pickup. So before you go out to the store, it's really worth looking up the store's website or even calling and asking them if they're doing curbside. Seed to Table is now doing curbside. So you can call and place your order or you can go on their website. You can put in everything that you want and then set up a time to pick it up. You just pull up, you call them and let them know that you've arrived and they come and they drop it off in your trunk for you. So, you know, all these fun recipes, all these things that you might want to cook, you don't have to go into the store to get them. Also, if you didn't know, the club is having some um, really cool things going on where they're, you know, will come deliver produce boxes and fruit boxes. And then the club itself, uh, I think it was last week had, you know, boxes that they were putting together for people. So there's resources out there for you. Target does a curbside pickup, which now that I know that Target does this, I've changed my whole life forever. And uh, I don't have to go inside. That's amazing. But you just put the order in online and you go pick it up. It's amazing. Walmart's doing it. So don't feel like you can't get out there and get supplies. Um, do you guys have any other ideas or do you know of any other services that are going on out there for the for groceries? I've personally used Amazon Prime. They're obviously they own Whole Foods now. If you have Amazon Prime, you can set up a two hour delivery window, shop online, press a button, no delivery fee, and they drop it at your door. And you know, you know when it's coming and it's the highest quality of uh, obviously from Whole Foods. So if you're a healthy eater, organic and non GMO and all those great wonderful things. You have lots of options. Yeah, I didn't know that. Um, so with Amazon, so they just come and they drop it off, huh? That's neat. Yeah, it's, it's a free delivery service, and it, but it's from Whole Foods. But Amazon now owns Whole Foods, 
So if you go in there and type in pantry or Whole Foods, it, it's like literally shopping at a supermarket online. You could buy one banana at a time or $500 worth of groceries. And they do sell wine. That's awesome. <laughs> well, thanks. I appreciate that. Do you guys know anything else that's going on out there that the members could? I do. I, I haven't done it personally, but I know that there's an app called Nextdoor. And I know a lot of people through either that app or even through Facebook, um, they're actually offering to go shopping for, so it's almost like a very community-based friendship kind of thing. Um, saying anybody who doesn't feel comfortable, please this is, reach out to me. I'd be happy to do it for you. So I know um, apps like Nextdoor and uh, if there's like a Facebook community that is doing things like that as well. Mm -hmm. Probably the best thing that has come out of all of this is just um, seeing all the goodness in people and how many people are willing to to put their health and their their life on the line to help other people, um, you know, that are, that are more compromised or in a bad way. I think this is really showing people all together that uh, humanity is 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 amazing, and there's people out there doing amazing things, and God bless them. So that's great. I didn't know about that either. So the next door app or even the, the Facebook group where they can find people in their community. That's, that's really awesome. Um, so then when it comes to curbside stuff, um, I just wanna do a little um, fun little thing with Jane because Jane's put together some cool stuff that mm -hmm. even though she's going on maternity leave, we'll still have available for curbside pickup. Um, so do you wanna tell them a little bit about Back? I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, so Laura and I put together sort of a little mini facial at home kit for you guys. Very simple. Um, you know, you can't mess it up. So I'm going to quickly go over some of the products. Um, so we'll start with everybody loves our naturopathica. You guys are, you know, pretty familiar. We use them in our services. Um, so the first is our enzyme, which is almost like a little peel. So this is gonna be great if your skin's feeling a little dull, a little lackluster, and you want that glow. So this is something you could probably do a couple times a week just to give you that nice, um, fresh, glowing skin. Um, what also comes in the kit is our Botanical Brightening Serum, which is gonna be very good, especially with all this sun exposure everybody's getting. This is gonna brighten the skin, brighten pigmentation. So this comes in the kit as well. Hopefully you guys can see this. Um, another uh, product that comes is our aloe replenishing mask, which, oh, excuse me, there we go. Aloe replenishing mask, which is awesome if you have been playing tennis or golf or you're out, you know, running around. This is going to be very cooling, very soothing and hydrating for your skin. Again, this is something you can do a few times a week. You can't overdo this. And then we have a fun little tool, a little gadget, which is our Daily Jade Facial Roller. So you guys may see these sometimes advertised. And what it is, it's a little facial roller that helps with lymphatic drainage. Um, it gives you a little massage. It's very soothing and cooling. You can pop it in the fridge. And then if you had maybe too many salty snacks or too many glasses of wine uh, the night before, and you need to get rid of some of that puffiness, it's got a nice big roller and then a little roller for like around the eyes so this comes in a little kit and we can have it ready for you guys to go um ready to go to pick up so it normally retails for about 180 and we're doing 15 percent off which brings it to about 150 155 um so we have those ready to go for you guys um and then of course if you have any questions about any facial products just reach out to us email um or give us a call yeah, I think in the absence of, of people being able to go to their esthetician, um, those kits are really great because it's a mini facial. Essentially, when yeah. you, have, you get a good cleanse, you get an enzyme or some kind of advanced exfoliation, you get a really nice advanced mask, and you get a serum with massage to kind of penetrate that. That's basically what's in that little kit for you. So for those of you who are missing <laughs> coming in to see Cheryl or to get your facial, um, this is a little mini facial kit for you. It's basically what we do in every facial. So, um, so that'll be a nice one. And it's a nice price point. So mm -hmm. that was a good, good idea, Jane. Um, all right. Well, anybody else have anything else going in their areas that they want to talk about or tell the members about to look out for? Well, sure, I think I along those lines, talk. we are hopefully getting a bunch of resistance bands and exercise bands ordered within the next 
let's say three, four, five business days where we'll have them available for members to purchase if they need anything to use at home, whether we have a few more weeks or into the summer where they're stuck and limited with their resistance options. So that update should come out soon once we have the order in-house and we get that kind of procedurally set up, then we'll be able to hopefully offer a similar type of thing, some fitness goodie bags, I guess, yeah. some small little gadgets for people to do some resistance stuff at home and long-term, short-term you know, close the gap until we're back to full speed here. Yeah, yeah, I think that was a great idea. This way, it's stuff that they can work on from home if they decide to moving forward. Um, so, and they're, they'll be brand new, beautiful bands. And so it was a good, good option. And we'll definitely keep you guys all posted on when they come in and when they're available for purchase. And we'll just do the curbside pickup so you don't even have to come in. Just let us know when you're coming. And we'll come out there and drop it off to your car. Uh, Derek, what were you saying? What was going on in your area? Well, again, with most of us being home, you know, we, we are back open for business at NRS and we're, we're here for scheduling. If you need us, you can read us, reach us at 353-6161. I want to talk a little bit about posture. You know, a lot of us are spending a little bit more time probably on our electronic devices, uh, which could increase some neck pain, intrascat pain, even low back pain. We want to make sure we're using good body mechanics. The weight of the head exponentially increases the more you look down. So you want to make sure you're holding those devices up high where you can minimize the extra stress on, on, on the neck. Um, if you do have problems with that, you can reach out to us. Uh, we can get you in. We can get you treated. Uh, we'll be posting a video probably next week with just a couple of tips for you to do at home to kind of eliminate some of that stress and, and keep the body in a good, healthy posture. Yeah. You just reminded me that I was in a bad <laughs> I'm so guilty of that. Yeah, we all are. We Shoulders all are. back. Yeah. Yep. Head up, chin in. The, yeah. That uncomfortable position is the spot you're supposed to be in. <laughs> well, I have been giving a lot of extra attention to my lacrosse ball lately because without getting massages, the back of my neck has been absolutely killing me. So that's definitely something. If you guys don't have a lacrosse ball at home, because who randomly has a lacrosse ball? Tennis balls work really nicely. You know, you just lean up against the wall and give yourself a little relief that way. Um, we also sell lacrosse balls at the Wellness Center, and those Theracanes are really handy for very back into the muscles that you can't reach. So maybe we'll do a little demo of how to use those, and we have quite a few on hand. For those of you who are having some chronic pain or just in a little uncomfortable state from, from being at home, and we have them available for you. Uh, Derek, I just did a compilation of all your greatest hits the other day. Have you seen it on YouTube yet? I did, I did. Um, it's very interesting. I got lots of music in there. I'm like, I'm gonna be like an award-winning editor slash, I don't know what. Has it been fun? At home video maker, no. <laughs> It's not fun. It's like you got to go by the second and cut and clip and this and then add this song and cut it here and did that. These people who do this, man, they got to have patience. Like, uh, so yeah, but it has been a learning opportunity for me. I'm glad to be able to do it. Um, but yeah, I did your greatest hits and, and so I added some fun things to that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, thanks for doing those for us. Um, well, we have uh, almost reached our time. Is there anybody else that's got some things going on in their department they want to talk about or end with? Or, Well, I'd like to tie together a little bit of what Gabby and I do and what Gar uh, Derek just mentioned. So a lot of our videos on Instagram are 50, 60 second tips. And then obviously on YouTube, we're building a library of workouts, 20, 30 plus minutes. Most of them are band-based, resistance band, or small dumbbells, body weight. So try to get up to speed with those, and you can obviously benefit from staying active other than walking and biking is great, but you got to move. And as Eric mentioned, that kephotic hunch position is tough. Rowing and pulling, any sort of movement, even if it's just active stretching. So you want to try to integrate some of those, but if you get the trifecta of the physical therapy, understanding the wellness approach, and then the actual fitness approach, that's where you're going to mitigate a lot of those uh, symptoms, you know, get the neck muscles to relax and get the circulation increased, which keeps those adhesions and knots, all those trigger things we're talking about. So it's kind of like a 360. You got to work one area to lead into the other one so the other one doesn't get backed up on you. Right. Well said. Yep. Yep. And we'll be getting that content out to you as soon as we have it. We're asking instructors to either do videos from home, 
and send them into us or to come in and film them out by the pool or film them somewhere where it's quiet um, and where we can still maintain our, our safe distance. Um, so at this time, we've got a couple people coming in and doing some things, which is really wonderful, really nice. Um, so you'll be able to find those on our YouTube channel, just like you'll be able to find our episodes of Wake Up Wellness. Uh, and then we're bringing you some spa stuff as well. Um, we just did a wrapped an interview with all the massage therapists today, which was a lot of fun. So I'll be posting that. And then next week, I'm meeting with Cheryl, who is our uh, lead esthetician, and you know, talk to her a little bit about skincare and things. Um, and since Jane will be officially out on maternity leave, we'll be missing you. We'll be channeling your inner facial <laughs> Um, but we'll be bringing you some fun stuff like that. Um, all right, well, to wrap up our fun little presentation today, I did learn something new about Zoom where I can screen share. Uh, so let me see how this goes. The top five Corona memes that literally made me laugh out loud and I figured I would share them with our members because they were funny. Let's see if I can do it. Top five Corona memes. See if we get a laugh. Number one, my dog isn't used to me being home during the day and is just staring at me from different places around the house. <laughs> That's that. adorable. <laughs> this looks like my mom's dog, only my mom's dog is 50. 15 pounds so she's oh like a fat little football with feet but she looks at you just the same way <laughs> um, and these I should say these are brought to you by boardpanda.com that's where I found them I did not make them myself uh, and then in, <laughs> this is number two in an unsettling reversal of my teenage years I am now yelling at my parents for going out oh I God. can attack so this 100 percent right I, 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah, I actually had to, it was, um, I it had gotten actually so bad that I had to tell my parents that I was taking away their keys if they stopped, if they didn't stop going out. I mean, it was I, just ridiculous. Yeah. I told my dad he was grounded to his room. <laughs> I said, you're grounded. Yeah. yeah. My dad too. I mean, he's going to everybody's houses like he's the mayor. I'm like, you have... This is not what they tell you to do. So no. Doing it. He went to the cigar bar the other day to hang out with his buddies. I'm like, no, what are you doing? Oh, no. Ugh. Okay, here's number three. My plans for this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this one on the top right. It's so funny. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and this is basically how I watch TV right there. Uh, <laughs> The time traveler, what year is it? Me, 2020. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> and lastly, for whoever started this game at the beginning of 2020, please finish it quickly. <laughs> so good. All right. Well, to our wonderful members out there, stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, we will be back next week with another fun video. Hope you have a wonderful day. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.